We were discussing the yes, problems of the local governments. Now, one, one solution, that, well, no, solution that's being proposed to improve governance at the local level is federalism. I don't and see they it. might revive it in the <laughs> incoming Congress, although you, you're still, you'll still be affected even if you're no longer in the Senate. Yes. What, what can you say about it? During my stay in the House and even in the Senate, I took a position against it. I still, um, I still um, have that position and keep that position right now. Um, wala ako nakikita ng dahilan para makatulong. Maraming tanong na hindi pa nila sinasagot. In fact, when I asked the economic managers of the president himself, mm. um, they were it. against it because of certain financial issues that have yet to be resolved, like who will pay for national debt? Mm -hmm. Will they impose new taxes for the payment of national debt? Or will they pass it on to us, the local government units? Mm -hmm. Number two, the poorest region in the country is ARM. Federalism basically says what's yours is yours, what's mine is mine. Um, total revenue from ARM last year was 2 billion pesos. This year we're giving ARM 110 billion pesos out of the BAR, out of the BARM law. So, sa nila hahanapin yung additional 108 billion? Babalik sila uli sa 2? Paano yayaman yung mahirap na mga rehiyon? Akala ko ba ginagawa yung federalism para sa kanila? Our closest experiment to federalism are the two autonomous regions mm. stated and mentioned in the Constitution, namely ARM and Cordillera. One we're still trying to perfect up to today after 33 years. One has not yet even been created after 33 years. Mm. Why do it in the entire country if you haven't even perfected it in two out of the 17 regions? Mm. Diba you're supposed to be more empowered now. Under no, a federal system. Subsidies. I mean, of course, yeah. they're not called subsidies, but allocations. But where will they get it from if they devolve the taxing powers? Um, right now, most of the taxing powers are still retained by the national government, and they simply give a share of these taxes, of these internal revenue taxes, to local government units mm. via a 60-40 sharing in favor of the national government. Mm. In fact, my simpler proposal um, as a counter offer to federalism was simply reverse the sharing give 60% to local government units and 40% to the national government via a transition period of about 10 years. And? You cannot, just, you cannot empower local government units without giving them the funds to do what they need to do. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day, that's the bottom line. So, so what are you saying? It's not feasible. Um, I have yet to see the formula. They keep on proposing federalism without the financial formula and model. That should come first. The political should come after the financial formula and model in regard to their proposal of federalism. Political cannot go ahead of the financial. But, but is there any way for, for, for any formula where um, there will be more political power for the local officials uh, but still uh, retain uh, a certain amount of uh, funding from the national government? The because they were talking about uh, some sort of a revolving fund uh, that, would, that would help the smaller regions the local government code of 1991 devolved agriculture and health as functions originally of the national government but they never devolved additional funding for these two um, mm. for these two functions so since 1992 there have been bills pending before both the house and the senate to renationalize health and agriculture simply because they didn't give the funds mm -hmm. so they were people are asking give us the funds or take it back mm -hmm. secondly there has since that time, there has been a disconnect between national health policies, national agriculture policies, trickling down to the barangay level. So you see the advent of DOH actually trying to reclaim certain functions in order to find out exactly what's going on on the ground. Okay, so what do you think needs to happen first before federalism can even be uh, plausibility. Let them come up with a financial model of federalism first. Convince the economic managers first, because so, if so they, if they, if they, at the outset, simply propose uh -huh. a political settlement without a financial settlement as to who will pay the bill, um, I don't think it will. I don't think it will get, ever um, lift off uh -huh. such what? proposals. I mean, no. So it's not a question of uh, well developing major regions first, making sure that there is at least one city in that region or two or three that will be developed first and then we go federalism then politically. Then show us that it can be done in BARM. Again, we've been at ah, it for the past yeah. 33 so years. So that's the experiment. That's what we've been at it for saying. the past 33 years. CAR mm -hmm. we haven't even created. Let's do these two first. Let's show that mm -hmm. it works and whatever formula mm -hmm. um, is deemed adaptable to these two. 
Then we apply it slowly but surely to each and every region as we go along. There but was, not to the entire country when we haven't even perfected it in at least one. There was one proposal, sir, I don't know if it was the PDP Laban proposal, to divide it, the, the country into three regions, Luzon, Visayas, yes. and Mindanao. Uh, would that be any more workable or would it be the same problem? Most of the richer provinces are in Luzon. Most mm -hmm. of the poorer provinces are in Mindanao. Mm -hmm. So again, the issue is... Um, What's the theirs is theirs, yeah, what's no. ours is ours, or will Luzon continue to subsidize Mindanao? If that is the case, what's the difference with the system we have now? Mm -hmm. But you think federalism is still alive? You think it has any chance of passing? Because um, it looks like President Duterte has lost interest in it, actually. I think he has too. About two yeah. years ago, when we had a chance to meet with him to talk about the legislative agenda of the Senate, yeah. He wasn't as interested and keen on it as he was in the initial part of his term. Mm -hmm. So I guess um, he has also been silent about it for the past so many months, even in the last elections. So I guess um, it's tapering down. Why, so do you think speak. That is? Yeah. why do you think that is? Uh, why is the president? Uh, why does the president seem to be uh, getting softer on the issue of? Uh, Probably the advice answer. coming from his economic managers. Yes, because, because the simple economic advice, managers are against it. They're against yeah. it because yeah. I asked him a simple question: How much is the bill? Mm -hmm. If we shift to yeah. federalism, how much do we need to spend in addition? Because that's Too an additional t tier yeah. of government. May barangay ka na, may munisipid siyudad ka, may probinsya ka, may national government ka, dadagdaga mo ng region. Noon, kailangan mo lang maglagay sa barangay captain at sa mayor. Ngayon, may dagdaga pang lalagyan sa region. Um, yeah. So, yung policy ng region, iba yung kailangan i-comply halimbawa ni SM, ni Jollibee, ni McDonald's, sa kada region. Um, may hirap yun eh. Uh, again, we have yet to see the nitty-gritty of this proposal on federalism.